FNCS has finally been announced for 2024. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the changes in the FNCS format. Then I'll give you guys some advice on how you can prepare to do well in FNCS. So let's start with the new format. I'm pretty excited about this. So in the opens, anybody that's platinum or higher can play round one. There's four rounds and the top 2000 duos make it to round two. That's a much higher number than we've had in the past few seasons, which means more people are gonna have a chance to make it further in FNCS, which I think is awesome. Round three, the top 1,000 duos make it. Keep in mind, round three is like the semifinals, and in the past, it was usually like 250 teams. Now it's 1,000. That's pretty crazy, but the craziest part is round four, which is the finals of the open qualifiers. 250 teams make it. We've never had more than 50 teams in the round four. A lot of people are gonna make their first ever round four, and they're gonna make their first ever heats because instead of like the past where it was 73 teams make heats now 250 teams make heats if you don't know the way you get there is by playing consistent in the open qualifiers you get series points and the top 250 teams on the series points leaderboard will make heats this season so many people are going to make their first round for their first heats and that's going to include me man we're making it happen if you want to look at the full details for formatting and all that stuff regarding fncs you can head on over to fortnite competitive on Twitter and go to their blog post. But with all that being said, let's talk about how you and your duo can make it happen this season. The first thing I will mention is I've released a few duo maps that could be really good for helping you and your duo build some duo chemistry. I won't spend too much time talking about this, but we got Duo Forever Zone Wars, where it's never ending zone wars, you instantly respawn, you play for kill streaks. If one member of your duo dies, the kill streak resets, which means you guys gotta play super together, otherwise you're never gonna get a nuke. It's 12 kills in a row as as a duo to get a nuke. And it's honestly pretty good duo practice. I'm not even just saying that. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. But the other two maps are all in one 2v2s, a great place to get all around duo fighting practice because it goes between box fights, zone wars, and realistic fights. So you get a well-rounded practice. And the last one is duo final moving zone wars, which is a bit slower paced because if you die, you don't respawn, but the end games feel a bit more realistic. By playing those maps, you'll definitely build some duo chemistry, but of course you can't spend all your time in creating if you want to win FNCS. So let's talk about some of the other things you need to focus on to see that improvement. One question a lot of people are probably wondering is how useful is ranked mode? And the truth is ranked is really only good for fighting practice, but the truth is you can get better fighting practice by spending your time in creative. Running a map like all in one 2v2, you'll take way more fights in way less time, which will lead to faster improvement and better duo chemistry. So playing ranked really isn't a priority when it comes to fighting, but the one thing about rank that makes it a little bit worthwhile is for learning your drop spot. Kind of getting a routine of how you guys are going to loot your drop spot, where the alpha chests are, where you're going to land, getting your drops perfect so you're never out dropped. That's the kind of stuff that you can practice in ranked. But other than that, I personally don't play much ranked. I don't find it very worthwhile. Instead of playing ranked games, you should be playing scrims. Scrims are going to be the most important thing for you getting ready for FNCS. People who have been playing competitive for a while are already know this, but you should be scrimming at least once or twice throughout the week when there's not tournaments going on. Scrims are the key to improving in stacked lobbies, improving your decision making, and coordination under real pressure. It's the most similar thing to a tournament you can find, so it gets you in that right mindset and gives you a place to make those mistakes that you would normally make an attorney if you hadn't already scrimmed and made the mistakes in the scrims. So long story short, scrim, scrim, scrim leading up to FNCS. The best scrim server for NAC Central is Vital Scrims, or if you're a bit more of a beginner, you can start out in Manu Scrims. If you're on EU, I recommend Noble Scrims. Additionally, if you're other servers, just ask around, see what other people use. I know Vital has a few other servers across the world, but yeah, make sure you're scrimming, and then make sure you're VOD reviewing those scrims. The way you're going to learn from the mistakes that you make in scrims is by VOD reviewing. Take notes while VOD reviewing, and then read those notes before going into the next day of scrims. This will help remind you of the mistakes you made the day before and you can work to fix them that day in scrims. I personally like to VOD review by myself, but if you're VOD reviewing with your duo, there's a couple things you need to keep in mind. Make sure you don't always point the finger. Yes, you can talk about each other's mistakes, but don't always make it about the other person. On the contrary, if your duo is telling you a mistake that you may be made, be willing to accept that criticism and fix it. You guys are a team, so if he doesn't like something you did, like maybe it was a certain calm that he didn't understand, take note of that so you don't 
make that same mistake. If you keep on making the same mistakes that's frustrating your duo, then he's eventually not gonna wanna duo with you anymore. But I'm not gonna lie, the main thing is you should be focusing on improving your own gameplay and improving your team chemistry, how you guys communicate, where to be at certain points in endgame, like should you be at front tarp, back tarp? When should you be looking for kills? When should you be rotating? Don't focus on the little things like, bro, you shouldn't have choked that edit. Like that's not helpful. Obviously nobody chokes an edit on purpose. The things you should be focusing on is like, did you rotate too late here? Were you fighting on the back edge of zone and you got held? Or was there miscommunication? One person was saying go left, the other was saying go right, and you ended up splitting. Those are the things you should focus on. Another tip for VOD reviewing is watch pro gameplay as well as a duo. Try to find things that they do to stick together and ways that they communicate that maybe you guys could implement in your own game. If you watch pros, you'll see they're pros for a reason. They have really good game sense and when to go for refreshes, when to rotate. You'll learn a lot from watching them if you really pay attention. And watching it as a duo can really help you guys learn from it. And then when you watch your own gameplay, you can compare it to the pros and see what you're doing differently and what's not working for you. So yeah, that's the tips for VOD reviewing. If you guys really want to see crazy improvement, scrim and VOD review on days that there aren't tournaments. You don't have to spend hours VOD reviewing. Just watch back a couple games if you only got like 30 minutes, you know? The last thing I want to talk about is how your routine should look if you're trying to go pro. There should be three different types of days, scrim days, mechanical days, and then tournament days. So first up, let's talk about scrim days. Scrims usually only last like two to three hours. So what you should do is one, check back on your VOD review notes before hopping into the scrims. That way you know what mistakes you made the day before, like I mentioned earlier. Two, get a nice warm up before that first game, like a 15 to 30 minute warm up with your duo. It could be in two v2s, 1v1s against each other, anything to get warm. That way you're warmed up for the scrims because usually it's only like four or five games and you don't want to waste any of that time. So check your VOD review notes, warm up, play the scrims, and then do a quick VOD review after. That might take like three to four hours. I know some people won't be able to do this every day, which is totally fine. Like one or two days of the week, maybe do that little routine. Mechanical days are days where you can kind of refresh your mentality. You know, if you scrim every single day of the week and then play tournaments all the other days, you're probably going to get burned out. That's why I like to include these mechanical days into these talks. On these types of days, I would just spend your time in creative maps that you guys find fun, such as Duo Forever Zone Wars. That way you're still working on your duo chemistry, but you're also just chilling, having fun, and getting some fast-paced mechanical practice. You could do Kovacs on these days, play some ranked 1v1s, just kind of call it a chill day, but you're still getting a little bit of practice in. Then lastly, of course, there's tournament days. On these days, I like to check my notes, just like on a scrim day, get a good warm-up, just like on a scrim day. Something else that I personally like to do is watch like one or two games of a pro before going into the tourney. It gets me in the right competitive mindset going into a tourney when I watch a pro pro beforehand. And then of course, play the tourney. Those are the three different days that I consider to be a part of my routine. And each of those days you could get done in like three to four hours. If you have extra time in the day, do whatever you want with it. I know most people have school and stuff like that. So three to four hours, that's not that much time. I'm sure a lot of you can make that work. If you guys have any additional tips for each other going into FNCS, drop those tips down in the comments. Let's build each other up this year with positivity and good advice. I want to see some of you guys qual to FNCS. So let's make it happen. More content on the way so stay tuned and don't forget to check out me and Aussie Antics brand new creative map called Magical Zone Wars. All my map codes are down in the description. Go check them out and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.